Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Levi Weeks was born in Greenwich, Massachusetts in 1776 and moved to New York City in 1798 to work with his older brother, Ezra, one of the city's more successful builders at the time. From March 31st to April 1st of 1800, Weeks stood trial for the murder of Elma Sands, a young woman whom he had been courting, whose body was found at the bottom of a well in what is today the Soho neighborhood of New York. Through his brother's connections and wealth, Weeks was able to retain three of New York's most prominent attorneys, Henry Brockholz Livingston, Aaron Burr, and Alexander Hamilton. Weeks was acquitted of the murder, but was nevertheless ostracized by the citizens of New York. He eventually settled in Natchez, where he became a well-respected architect and builder. In 1808, Judge Lyman Harding hired Weeks to design and build a house as the centerpiece of his suburban estate, Auburn. Like most builders of the era, Weeks relied on architectural pattern books from which he lifted details for his designs. Completed by 1812, Weeks had set out to create the most magnificent building in the territory, employing for the first time the classical orders of architecture. Other buildings which have been attributed to Levi Weeks include the East Wing of Jefferson College, the Mercer House, and the Portico of Concord. He may also be the architect for the Briars, Monmouth, Arlington, and additions at Burling Hill and Gloucester. Levi Weeks died on this day, September 20th, 1819, at the young age of 43. I'm Marty Junkins Seibert, Chairperson of the Natchez Preservation Commission, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.